Okay, welcome to Life with Timmy D. Today we're going to do a very quick tutorial and I'm going to show you how I add GPS telemetry to a time warp video. I'm using the Hero 8 camera. Very nice. The time warp uh, quality in that is just really good. I really like it. So in the past, I think there's been problems and people have issues adding a GPS map overlay to a time warp. Now doing it in a regular real-time ride, that is a no-brainer. There's multiple software packages that will add that and do it nicely. But in a time warp, uh, maybe not so much. So today I'm going to show you what I use, which is telemetry <clears throat> overlay. Let me get you, let me get me off the screen. And there we go. Okay. And so I, I do not have to give you a disclaimer. I paid for my software just like everybody else. I don't get a commission. I'm just passing on knowledge. So that is my disclaimer. Um, when you buy the, the license for this is $99. It's good software and it is going to get better. And if you're going to do a lot of videos like this, then uh, it's, a, it's a good package. Okay, so we're going to bring in our video, a time warp. And the issue is, is that when you bring in a time warp video, the, the telemetry data is there, but it is for the entire ride. So let's say you went out and you rode for an hour, two hours. The time warp video is going to be, say, three to six, seven minutes long. And so when you go to add your telemetry onto the screen, it is not matching the length of the ride. So when we bring first bring the ride, the, the video into telemetry overlay, it'll go through and optimize the file. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what it's doing for that, but it's doing it. Then it will read the telemetry data. And so it'll only take just a, a few, you know, I don't know, 30, 45 seconds to, to do that. And then we'll be ready to start adding our GPS overlay onto the video. So all right, now when you open up uh, telemetry overlay and bring a video in, you do have options to just bring in all your gauges automatically. You can set up templates and uh, do it that way. There's a lot of flexibility. One of the things I'd like to see is some more um, options in the design of your gauges. A little more customization there, but all in all, great program. So for this tutorial, I just brought it in blank. I'm going to go in and add a gauge. I'm going to add my GPS path. So I click on that, throws it up right in the middle of the screen. And let's go ahead and turn on, go to path. Sorry, I'm going to turn on the map background. We'll do a hybrid, be good. And let's make it square. So we would have something like that. Now what we're seeing right here, this video, if you look down here, is three minutes and six seconds long. What we're seeing is the GPS path for the first three minutes and six seconds of my ride. We want to see it for the whole entire ride. So what I have to do is I have to come down to Sync Telemetry, and I have to tell it, hey, I want my data not to be shown in real time. I want my data to match the video. And bam, there it all is. That's the whole entire ride. So now when I scroll through, you see the, the ride dot now matches where I am. Now, when you do that, because it's a time warp, one second can have a significant, you know, I don't know, 200 yards, 300 yards difference. And so you want to fine tune that to make it uh, as precise as it can be. It doesn't have to be super precise. So I'm going to blow this up. I'm going to move it over. And then I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to shrink both the gauge, which is the round dot, and the path. And the only reason I'm doing that is so it's, it's a fine line. I want to pick a very defined turn, and this one right here will be good. So I'm going to scroll through, <clears throat> boom. The dot is already there, so I'm going to use frame by frame now. I'm going to go up all the way to the corner, boom, right there. I'm now at it. And you can see I am, I've already moved up the road a good bit. So what I have to do is I have to offset the GPS and the uh, video, I'm going to do it by, let's do, all right, there's one second. And that, look, that is that is right on. You can offset even milliseconds. The, the bigger your overall map, there's no need to do milliseconds. If you had a very small course 
maybe you were doing laps, then in that case, um, the milliseconds, because you can zoom in to a tighter image, and milliseconds might come into play. But for what I have here, this is adequate. So now I'm going to shrink the size back down to something manageable. And the dot is, I'm going to leave it just a fine yellow line. But what I am going to do is make my, my red dot a little bigger, a little more prominent. Okay. The only other uh, telemetry that I want to add, you can add other telemetry, but the only one I personally want to add is going to be a, uh, a clock. Because I want to show, you know, where am I in the ride in, in what was real time then. So I'm going to go, I'm going to add date and time. So boom, pops up right here on the screen. So a couple things we're going to have to fix. Now, let me tell you something. You got to do not forget to when you're working with the clock to go all the way back to the beginning. Because if you start doing offsets and then you go backwards, well, you have to fix your offset. So go all the way back to the beginning and we're going to go ahead and fix a few things. So we don't want milliseconds. So we take that off, click right over here. I do not need it very big. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to kind of shrink it down a little bit. That'd be big enough. Move you down here. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to go to, uh, what, icon? No, labels. I always forget that. Okay, we're going to turn the date off. Date is irrelevant, so I don't need that. Matter of fact, I'm going to move you down a little bit more. So what I want to do, and I do hope that um, they will put an option in the software to where you can just add a timer. And what that'll do is bring it in to where it's at 0, 0, and it is set to the correct um, clock. So when you do this, in order for it to be uh, correct and actually go and fast forward, you do have to come over here and change it to GPS file only. If you don't change your time, this will run in real time and it will not run uh, in sync with the video like the map is doing. So be sure and change it to GPS file only. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. I'm going to offset my time. We're going to go backwards. And I'm going to take it all the way down to zero. Boop. Next one, minutes. Take it down to zero. And then our seconds down to zero. Okay. So now when I hit play, this is running even with the GPS and even with the video. So if you did have a, say a two hour ride that you time warped, now I can see how far I was into that ride at any given moment looking down here on the screen. Okay. So very nice little feature. And again, I hope that the developer of this software will add a timer video and, um, excuse me, a timer option because that'll be kind of nice. But until then, doing this works absolutely great. So, Sorry for my dog, Minnie, being alarmed in the background. Um, but that's it. Now, in the project, uh, I can go to the project tab. And let's say I want to add a little, he calls it a drawer. He, she, whoever's doing the uh, design here. So you can create what is called a drawer to darken up this bottom, make the gauge a little, little more visible. So that's kind of a nice little feature there. Um, you could add some custom text on here so that's another uh, option but again this was just the purpose of this video was just to show you how to add the GPS how to add a timer and set it to the time warp uh, length and so I hope this has been helpful look this is a brand new channel please subscribe if this has been helpful give it a thumbs up I'm gonna have a lot more uh, content coming that is going to be geared towards new cyclists. So there is a, uh, a vast kind of uh, an empty space there for people that are new to cycling and not new in the sense of you've never ridden bikes. You've been riding bikes, but you are now ready to step up your game a little bit. You're like, you know what? I want to get a better bike. I want to upgrade my bike. I want to buy a bike computer. I've never had one before. How do I use it? All the videos and a lot of the stuff on YouTube makes the assumption that people have a lot of knowledge on biking that you may not necessarily have. I'm going to bridge that gap. I'm going to give you a lot of good stuff to kind of bring you up and then give links to other good videos that are out there. But I'm going to fill in the gap 
from zero to, I don't know, 25 percent. So you have a good foundational knowledge. Maybe you want to get into doing group writing. What do you need to know about that? Um, you know, where to buy components to upgrade your bike. How might that cost? How might it be? How hard is it to do? So a lot of good stuff. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.